am Satyam, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Sydney. Today, I am going to show you how to resolve the no export named found error in AWS CloudFormation. Let's get started. First, let's understand a little bit about export and import in AWS CloudFormation. To share information between stacks in CloudFormation, we export a stack's output values. Then other stacks can import the exported value using function import value in the template. As you can see, I'm already logged in to my AWS management console. Let's navigate to the CloudFormation console. I have deployed a stack named VPC stack in the US East one region, which exports a few values such as VPC ID, subnet ID, and security group. To verify exported values and its name from the CloudFormation navigation pane, choose Exports. Confirm that the export values are listed in the console. To list exported output values using the AWS command line interface, use the AWS CloudFormation list exports command. It's important to confirm that the exported value is in the same AWS region or same AWS account where you are importing the value. For instance, let's deploy an example stack importing these values in the US West 2 region. Select the US West 2 region. And then deploy an example template which uses the function import value in the template. You will see the same error in the CloudFormation events. This shows that it's important to verify that you are using the same region where you have exported the values. Also, the error can occur if you specify the incorrect export name in the importing stack. For example, Take a look at this template. I have made a typo while specifying the export name. If I deploy this template, I will get the same error. So it's important to specify the exact name of the exported value in the template. Here is another scenario. If you are using function import value with nested stacks, AWS CloudFormation creates child stack in parallel by default. The exported value is at risk of not being available in time to be imported by the other child stack. For instance, let's deploy a nested stack which will deploy two child stack. Note that the child stack 2 is using the exported values of the child stack 1. After you deploy this template, you will notice that both child stacks are created in progress in the cloud formation events. But Child stack 2 deployment will fail with the export error because the exported value from the child stack 1 is not yet available. To resolve this error in the nested stack, use the depends on attribute to create an explicit dependency for the stack that is using function import value on the stack that has the exported output. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.